Be sure to like, comment, and subscribe to my dad's videos. Oh, dumb bitch. It's always a good moment when I'm with y'all. Hold on. Let me make a proper entrance. I ain't even about to fuck around. Hold on. It's your boy, Two Tread, man. What's poppin' with y'all? How y'all feeling? I'm feeling phenomenal on this beautiful Sunday. Y'all probably wondering, oh shit. Trev sitting inside the room. What do you want to talk about? I'll tell y'all what I want to talk about. Boy, if you don't fitness. Okay. Y'all probably wondering, Trey, why you got your shirt off? What's the point of having your shirt off? Like, what that got? Okay, so look, let me tell you why I got my shirt off. I got my shirt off because this is literally what we about to talk about. We about to talk about why you should start working out as we approach the summer. Like, we're literally entering June right now. And a lot of y'all been wondering, why the fuck should I work out? What's the point? Like, why would I do something that's uncomfortable? Why would I do something that's gonna make me sweat? Why would I do something that's gonna make me stink? Why would I do something that hurts? I'm gonna tell you why. Working out is literally something that in, produces happy endorphins. Do I know exactly what happy endorphins is? No. Scientifically on some deep shit, I don't. But I do know being happy is great. So. You're probably thinking I'm too late because the summer is now here. June 1st is literally blah, 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 blah. And this generation I learned, a lot of people are a lot more depressed because you feel the pressure of being at a certain point in your life because a lot of people are making stuff happen at earlier ages. So you feel like you should be making it happen at your age as young as you are. But you probably think at your young age, however old you are, you should have a million dollars. You should have this type of car. You should have all this different stuff. Um, it makes you happy. So a lot of times, you know, we I know how our generation is. We like to resort to the wrong ways to cope with our stress and our depression, all that type of shit like that. We 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 go to the wrong vices and it's a great way to, you know, have a it's a great outlet. That's basically what I want to say. It's a great outlet. It makes you feel better. And then with producing those happy endorphins, you look in the mirror, you're like, damn, hold on, that's me. That's me. But my fellas, it is nothing like hearing your first. You been working out? You don't like that, bruh. Or. Look at your arms. Oh my God, your arms got bigger. Look at your chest. Your chest got bigger. Look at your traps. Your chest got bigger. Look at your back. <laughs> it's, it's, it's nothing like hearing that as a man. Okay? Like, and it's nothing like feeling that type of accomplishment of like, I didn't put in that work. Like, I really didn't did this, bro. Like, it's nothing like that. So. We all deserve to feel that type of greatness because yes, the compliments are great, but essentially it's not about the compliments because it's about how you're gonna feel about yourself. You're gonna feel really good. You're gonna love yourself more. It teaches self-love. I ain't even gonna make that another reason, bro. This is gonna be the one and the one. And like, with happiness, you're gonna love yourself more because you're gonna be seeing all those Nigga, come on, bro, next one. You get stronger. Like, I don't know about you. Who, wants, who don't wanna be strong? Like, listen, I ain't going to point no fingers. I know a lot of niggas that can't even pick their girl up. You can't even pick your girl up. My neck in my back. Oh. Like, aside from picking her up, you know, she can't reach something. Because you should be able to do that. Or picking her up just because you bet you happy to see her. Ooh, babe. Spin her around, you know. Like, aside from doing that, how you going to, like... You can't pick your girl up and crack that? And as girls, being strong is great because um, I'm all for a woman being strong because if a nigga getting too handsy, push that nigga up off you. Get that nigga up, get that nigga up off you. Like, pretty sure there's some people that ain't strong who've been in situations where they needed physical strength and they had they they, they have not had it and they be like, damn. I'm about to start working out. Like, I know a lot of people that have been in a situation where they wish they had the physical strength to do a certain thing. I don't know what it is, and they didn't have it. And they just felt like they regret it. Then they start working out. So don't be in a situation where you're not prepared. There's no going. So, he obviously wanted some attention, so I'm gonna give it to him. Yeah, he be chilling on my shoulder too. He probably about to jump off. Yeah, he's definitely gonna jump off. Watch this. Get your ass all in the camera, dog. Not a good look. Um, so yeah, who don't want to be strong? Uh, reason number three. 
you get to meet, you make new connections. So let me tell you how. You're probably thinking you can make a new connection anywhere. You can make new connections at the bank. You can make friends at the goddamn library. You can make friends anywhere. But let me tell you how. You're in this place where everybody's like trying to better themselves. Everybody's trying. Everybody has a goal in this place. So with having a goal, everybody knows trying to reach that goal, you need positive energy. So now you're in this motherfucking area where it's just filled with nothing but positive energy. It's positive energy everywhere. Like, dude, everybody's happy. Everybody's in a good mood. So you got people uh, PRing. If you don't know what PR is, that's a personal record. So you might, for example, if you might, if you don't know what that means. Um, I never say say I never lift 315 before, 315 pounds on the uh, bench press before, and I do it today for the first time. That's my PR. That's a big thing in the gym. PRs are a big fucking deal because people who are like avid gym goers, a lot of the time PRs are like the basis of a lot of their workouts. They're building up for that next PR. So you know, the more you know. I met some of my best friends in the gym. I think I close to a lot of people who I wasn't as close to, or well, I didn't think I would be that close to, working out. You should start doing it. You'll make a lot of friends. If you consider yourself somebody who don't have friends, go to the gym. You're gonna meet a goddamn friend. That makes you healthy. Who don't wanna be healthy? You take care of, you're taking care of your body. You ever seen somebody, they say, I'm 35, and they look like they was goddamn 55? You do not wanna look like you're 55 when you're 35. You don't even wanna look like you're 55 when you're 55. Dude, nobody wants to look their look like like when you as you get older, the goal is not to look older. I'm sorry, this is the truth. So be keeping yourself in the gym, you're gonna naturally go to the things that you consume because you're gonna start to realize, damn, I'm not getting the results I need. What's going on? Then you're gonna learn. It's what I'm eating, it's what I'm drinking. What I'm consuming all together. So then you're gonna start to make those changes. Next thing you know, your goddamn body is a temple. Next one. Creating a gym or a workout regimen creates discipline. And I don't know about you, but as a person, I've learned one of the best things I can have as a person is discipline. I'm not gonna lie. Um, discipline is hard to have because discipline creates opportunity, discipline creates success, discipline creates structure. Not gonna lie. To you. And structure is what we need in this life because structure is what gets us through each day and gets us through each goal, gets us through each process. Structure is important. Discipline is important. So if you can discipline yourself to go put your body through that type of strenuous activity, I'm telling you, bro, you are setting yourself apart from the next group of people. I'm telling you. Like anybody can go out and kick it every weekend. Anybody can go buy a box of donuts. Anybody can motherfucking shake their ass. Anybody can goddamn roll a blunt. Anybody can goddamn turn on the game. Anybody can do that shit. I'm telling you. But I'm but I'm letting you know right now, a small percentage of your peers is actually getting their ass up and getting their temple together. The shit that they move through the world with, the shit that they present first when they meet somebody. Like, come on now, bro. It take a lot to get this shit right. Look at me, nigga. I ain't even in my best physical form. I didn't see niggas that look better than me, but I'm gonna get there because I got the discipline to keep going. I got the drive to keep going. I didn't network in the gym, met the right people to give me the inspiration, the motivation to keep going. I didn't learn what I need to consume to keep going, to get me where I need to go. See how that go? Oh, that go full circle. Y'all saw that? You saw that? You saw that? You saw that. I know you saw that. You can't say you didn't see it. I saw you see it, nigga. Oh, I didn't get stuff. I got stuff saying, nigga. I saw you see it. Okay. If we're being real, I'm in like my fifth year working out. But I'm in like my. Nah, I ain't gonna lie. I'm in like my. Oh. Seventh year. I started when I was 16, okay? Well, I was never consistent up until... I, I wasn't consistent until I was 20. I gonna lie. I wasn't consistent until I was 20. For all my fellas. You gonna call the shorty over. You know? That would be chilling. Whoop de whoop. This gonna lead to that. That's gonna lead to this. Then y'all gonna be about to, you know, get that shit going. And then you gonna take your shirt off. She like, hold on. You be working out? You gonna play? <laughs> yeah. Hello, bitch. 
And she go, hey, you know what that just produced? Several ounces of wetness. She just got wetter. She wetter now. You didn't got more wetness. She didn't got more wet. She wet now for you. Ain't that a wine called Moet? And for my shorties. Hey, you been in the gym, you been squatting? You on this dude you been talking to? He's a stand-up guy, you like him. You take y'all, whoop de whoop. All this happened. Y'all get to uh, one thing leads to another. You know, this leads to that, that, that. <clears throat> this leads to that. This leads to that. That leads to this. I just really want to say that. I wasn't gonna give up on that statement. This leads to that, that leads to this, and then you take your panties off, y'all about to get that going. He like, hold on, babe. Your ass got fat. You know, y'all girls, I'm probably like, oh my God, thank you. <laughs> like, that's probably how it be. I know y'all love the compliments just like we do. So listen, if y'all don't get nothing from this video, because this is a lot that I said, always remember, Self-care is the best care. Two Trev is the best watch. It didn't rhyme, but it didn't have to. Thank y'all for watching. Don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe. And I love y'all. And it's all my fault, and I barely sleep, I get the message. We don't share the blood. If I make the call, I know they step And she get me wrong, but it's still my mother, she a blessing. And I never fail, I just took time with all the lessons. And I hope they good, yeah, the ones who love was artificial. And I ain't gonna bless you, this shit get sick, so fuck a tissue. I done made my point, so I ain't gonna press about the issue. If the truth is the problem, then I make amends and never.